I'm here at the Ferrari Owners Club meet at Vale Royal Abbey near Northwich uh, with a fine collection of Italian engineering from the 1960s to the present day. The potential brake horsepower parked on this lawn is mind-blowing, as is the resale value. But the thing that unites everyone here is the passion for the cars. Pride of place among the Ferraris goes to this 250 Lusso prototype, restored in every detail to showroom condition and now with a price tag that's phenomenal. But the thing about this car is it's been a labour of love and it really is so beautiful. And here we have Sydney Brown's classic Ferrari 2 plus 2 and we'll be talking to him about this car in a moment. single headlights. Um, the other uh, difference was uh, that the um, Series 1 was four-speed gearbox with an overdrive. This is a five-speed gearbox and that's fundamentally a key element of the difference between the two cars. How long have you had it? I've had it 31 years, 32 years in February next year. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got <laughs> That's right, yes, I mean it is, uh, obviously it's 2 plus 2, and in Ferrari terms, 2 plus 2s uh, don't tend to get the vote to the same extent as the two seaters. But having said that, um, it was a very popular model at the time, purely and simply because um, family men bought it because, you know, a two-seater was no use to them. And what does it drive like? What do you like about this car? Well, it's a, it's a faithful old thing, basically. Uh, it doesn't. It's 
uh, has a poor turning circle. That's the worst. Uh, when you fairly heavy car and uh, it has a poor turning circle, that apart, uh, it has a fairly lively performance and a five-speed gearbox, uh, which means that it will do. Um, uh, it will really for a four-liter car V12. Um, it, it will move. Move. No problem there. In terms of what speed? Speed, I don't know. The top speed was somewhere around 130, 135, uh, but I've not uh, explored that. Not for a while. Not, well, not for a while, that's right. And uh, like all uh, Ferrari owners, if I'm going to ask you the question, would you part with it? No, uh, this is a car definitely that uh, uh, will see me out, and my son won't sell it either, so he tells me. Uh, so, no, it's one of those cars that uh, um, basically it's, it's in the family and it stays in the family. Tell me a bit about Ferraris in general, why do you feel the need to set up the Ferrari floor? Well, what happened was that. Um, a few of the people who were here today, uh, we were on a trip. <laughs> which was sponsored by Stratstone, Stratus, as they were then, before Stratstone. Um, and we um, went to the factory in Maranello, and um, we sort of enjoyed ourselves, and came back and said, well, is that it? And somebody said, well, you know, we just need someone to pull us all together and create the northern, area, northern area, northwest area group. And that's basically, I put my hand up, and uh, that's what happened. Nights or Ferrari owners. Oh, it's the passion for the brand, basically. It has the history, um, and uh, it's the passion for the brand, whether it be through racing or whatever. whatever. Uh, you know, there's so many stories to tell, and uh, that's basically the thread that runs through everything. Do you have a, a particular favourite story with this car? Um, Uh, it's just been used here, there, and everywhere. It's, uh, I'm just thinking, has it let me down? No, it hasn't. It very nearly did. Uh, and in fact, when I had it rebuilt about 25 years ago, that was as a result of we took it on a track day, and uh, I had another car that was driving, and somebody else was driving it, and I was followed behind, and suddenly a cloud of smoke came out of it. And I thought, oh God, no, this is going to cost me a lot of money.
Well, this is Sally, and Sally's driven this 575 here from Cheshire. Uh, Sally, what's it like behind the wheel of a Ferrari? Absolutely fabulous. Um, the Ferrari is out of this world. Um, an amazing piece of kit, everything is. Uh, well, it's, each Ferrari I think, has its own character. Um, this particular Ferrari is a 575 Marinello. It's just so smooth, <laughs> so, so smooth. Um, it's a positive one, so it's change up, change down really easy to drive. And it's a fantastic ride over here today. And what about the acceleration? How does that describe the sensation? It's amazing. It does it really it really does go at the touch of your foot. Um, you just uh, you have so much control. Change down a couple of gears and it will just fly over to go. And it likes to do that so you have a mind of its own in that way. And what kind of reaction do you get from other motorists when they see you behind the wheel of a, of a big Ferrari? Always, um, always lots of attention, lots of people stopping to look or passing cars looking, um, which is nice. I happen to be driving down Deansgate not so long ago in a black. Um, black Ferrari with the roof off, it was a hot summer's day, and um, there were cyclists and people just stopping, I don't think you often get to see girls driving such cars like this, um, but it was a very amusing journey through Deansgate, Manchester, one of those, yeah, certainly. It's a good feeling then, is it, being a woman behind the wheel of a Ferrari? Yeah, you do appreciate it, yeah. Would you like to find it up for us so we can hear what you've got under the bonnet? Yeah. Favourite CD on, and off you go. GTB. Absolutely beautiful car uh, with performance to match and the sleek lines that makes Ferrari one of the top brands in the motoring world. So from Vale Royal Abbey in Northwich, from the first episode of On the Road, from me Vince Hunt and producer Rick Roberts, bye for now. <laughs>